Ancient Egypt is a fascinating place, but there's no doubt about it, it can be seriously creepy. The ancient Egyptians buried spooky mummies all over the desert for future generations to uncover, and there are even rumors of buried treasure and underwater cities that archaeologists are rushing to discover. From mysterious ancient coffins that have never been opened before, to mind-blowing forces at work in the Great Pyramid. These are the 20 amazing discoveries in Egypt that scare scientists. Massive Black Sarcophagus We've got a jaw-dropping discovery in the ancient city of Alexandria, Egypt. A colossal black granite sarcophagus dating back to the time of Alexander the Great's conquest in 332 BC was recently cracked open. Now, you might think this sounds like the start of a mummy movie, but the real deal is even more intriguing. Initially, there was some wild speculation about this bad boy containing the remains of the legendary Alexander himself, and that prying it open would unleash a curse. But guess what? The ministry in charge wasn't having any of that superstition. They pried it open and guess what they found? Bones and, wait for it, sewage. But that's not all. Alongside the not-so-pleasant sewage surprise, archaeologists stumbled upon not one, not two, but three sets of skeletons inside. Could these be the remains of ancient soldiers? It's still under investigation, but one of them seems to have taken an arrow to the head. This sarcophagus, a whopping 9 feet long, 5 feet wide, and 6 feet tall, is one of the biggest sarcophagi in Alexandria. Covered in a thick layer of mortar, it's been keeping its secrets for centuries. Now we're left with a treasure trove of questions. Who were these three individuals? What led to their end? And seriously, why such a colossal resting place? We may never know. And now it's time for our open discussion. This discovery in Egypt scares scientists. Yes, archaeologists have been delving deep into the Egyptian tombs for centuries, but this discovery is one of a kind. Mummies are lined up against the wall in this mysterious cavern, but experts are baffled at their tip-top condition. It's as if they were buried in the tomb only yesterday. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comments section below to share your thoughts. Hey you, feeling lucky? Want a shout out in tomorrow's video? All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and comment down below your fave moment from today's juicy topics. Tomorrow, you just might be the talk of the town. All right, enough chit chat, back to the show. Pregnant Egyptian mummy. Whoa, talk about rewriting history. Now this is what we call a game changer. At first, everyone thought this Egyptian mummy was a priest. Well, surprise, it's actually a pregnant woman. This revelation is a first-of-its-kind bombshell, and it's thanks to the eagle-eyed Polish scientists over at the Warsaw Mummy Project. These folks have been on a mission since 2015, meticulously examining mummies from ancient Egypt, and it was a tiny little foot spotted in the abdomen during a scan that tipped them off. Flash forward to May 2021, and the bombshell was dropped in the Journal of Archaeological Sciences. They did an x-ray on this 2,000-year-old Egyptian woman, and what did they find? A fetus. After sifting through thousands of mummies worldwide, no scientist had ever stumbled upon a pregnant uterus in one of them. Mind blown, right? History is always keeping us on our toes. Earliest Figural Tattoo Here's some ancient ink that's redefining history. A couple of 5,000-year-old Egyptian mummies has shocked the world with the world's oldest figurative tattoos. One male mummy had a wild bull and a Barbary sheep etched into his upper arm, while the lady rocked some S-shaped designs on her upper arm and shoulder. But here's the thing, these tattoos weren't done with your everyday ink. It's believed they used soot. Now, that's some hardcore body art. What's really turning the tables here is that in the past, archaeologists assumed only women sported tattoos in ancient times. But surprise, surprise, our guy proves that body modification was the name of the game for both genders. So what's the deal with these ancient tats? The experts reckon they were like badges of honor, symbols of status, bravery, and maybe even a dash of magical knowledge. These mummies are making us rethink everything we thought we knew about ancient ink. 
They are rewriting the history of body art. Shout out to Sicily Spec 3407. Thanks for giving us your unique perspective in the hashtag open discussion. Keep those comments coming. Sunken Greek Temple. Get ready to dive into the depths of history because we've got some mind-blowing discoveries from the lost Egyptian city of Heracleion. This place has been resting at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea for over a thousand years, and it's been hiding some real treasures. Heracleion used to be the Mediterranean superstar port before Alexandria stole the show in 331 BC, thanks to Alexander the Great. Some even called Heracleion Egypt's version of Atlantis. French marine archaeologist Franck Gaudio, the hero of this story, has just unveiled the latest haul. Think gold bling, silver dishes, and an interesting pouring contraption that looks like a duck. But that's not all. There's a djed in the mix. What's a djed, you ask? It's a pillar-like symbol straight from the pages of Egyptian hieroglyphs, and one that's carved from the beautiful blue stone lapis lazuli. And if that's not eerie enough, there's a creepy ceramic hand reaching out from the sediment. Spooky. Imagine the secrets this ancient city is still holding on to at the bottom of the sea. Mysterious underwater opening. Egyptian archaeologists just pulled off a stunt straight out of an action movie. Believe it or not, they abseiled down a 20-foot deep pit that was completely submerged in water. Talk about diving into history, and guess what they found down there? A mysterious underwater opening, but that's not even the best part. Brace yourselves because Egyptian authorities have confirmed a jaw-dropping discovery in Luxor. They stumbled upon a whopping 30 ancient wooden coffins, and some of them were even hiding mummies that are perfectly intact. Now that's what we call a treasure trove. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, revealed that this find is the biggest in Egypt in over a century. Can you imagine the stories these coffins and mummies have to tell? It's like unlocking a time capsule from ancient Egypt. What an epic archaeological feat. Board Game of Death Around 3500 years ago, the Egyptians were playing what some call the Board Game of Death. Yeah, you heard us right. A game to communicate with the departed. Think of it as an ancient Ouija board. This game, known as Senet, was a hit in Egyptian society for a whopping 2,500 years. It first emerged 5,000 years back and stuck around until it fell out of favor. So how did they play? Two competitors faced off, each with five pawns on a grid of 30 squares arranged in three rows of 10. Roll the dice, move the pawns, and the goal? Get all five to the finish point at the lower right corner. It's like a precursor to modern board games. Now here's where it gets really interesting. One expert believes he stumbled upon a senate board that took on a more spiritual twist. As time went on, Egyptian text started describing senate as a representation of the soul's journey through the Egyptian afterlife. Talk about a game with deeper meaning. Senate wasn't just about entertainment, it was a window into their beliefs about the afterlife. Pretty mind-blowing, right? Sarcophagi buried for 2,500 years. The ancient Egyptian necropolis in Saqqara just spilled some serious secrets. Archaeologists have unearthed a whopping 27 sarcophagi, all snugly buried over 2,500 years ago. This discovery is shaping up to be one of the largest of its kind. They found these treasures inside a recently uncovered well at this sacred site, located just south of Cairo. And the images they've released are nothing short of breathtaking. There are vividly painted, well-preserved wooden coffins and a treasure trove of smaller artifacts. Now, Saqqara isn't your average burial ground. This place was active for over 3,000 years, and it's even earned itself a spot on the prestigious UNESCO World Heritage List. It's a historical heavyweight, situated about 30 kilometers south of Cairo. Saqqara served as the final resting place for the elite of ancient Egypt making it the necropolis for the capital city, Memphis, for over two millennia. The stories and secrets that must be buried there are enough to give anyone chills. Buried Hands We've got a seriously spine-chilling discovery straight from ancient Egypt. A team of researchers have unveiled the first ever physical evidence of an eerie practice. They've analyzed a dozen right hands, buried beneath pits in an ancient Egyptian palace. Yeah, you heard it right. Severed hands. The gory details of this find and some intriguing insights are all laid out in a paper titled First Osteological Evidence of Severed Hands in Ancient Egypt. 
published in the journal Scientific Reports. These hands were discovered in three separate pits, right in what would have been the entrance court of the palace, just in front of the throne room. Can you imagine stumbling upon that site? Now here's where it gets even more mysterious. There's a bit of a head scratcher about when these hands were placed there, and where they were acquired from. Was it from the living or the deceased? According to researchers, regardless of the scenario, these hands must have been soft and flexible when they were placed into the pit. That's a seriously haunting image, isn't it? The secrets of ancient practices never cease to amaze and send shivers down our spines. Tunnel that leads to long lost tomb of Cleopatra. In 2022, beneath a temple in the ancient city of Taposiris, Magna, on the Egyptian coast, researchers unearthed a mind-blowing tunnel that experts are calling a geometric miracle. Now, this is an epic discovery. This tunnel is believed to be part of a temple dedicated to none other than Osiris, the god of death. Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist from the University of Santo Domingo, was the one who located this marvel. It's a 6.5 foot tall, 4,300 foot long wonder, buried roughly 43 feet beneath the temple's surface. And part of it is submerged underwater, likely due to a series of earthquakes that rocked the region between 320 and 1303 CE. It's like stepping into a time machine. Now, here's where it gets even more exciting. There's a hope that this discovery could lead archaeologists to the elusive tomb of Egypt's lost pharaoh, and perhaps the most famous ruler of them all, Queen Cleopatra VII. This famous queen ruled Ptolemaic Egypt alongside her Roman lover Mark Antony, and together they met a tragic end. Historians have long suspected that they were buried together, but the exact location has remained a mystery. Could this tunnel hold the key to unraveling that ancient enigma? The plot thickens. Fossil of a 98 million year old dinosaur. We've got a prehistoric bombshell from the Egyptian desert. An Egyptian led team of researchers unearthed the fossil of a carnivorous dinosaur that roamed the earth a mind blowing 98 million years ago. And it's the first time that remains of this type have been found in ancient Egypt. This dino, named after the Argentinian Robert Abel, who initially discovered its remains decades ago, is rewriting the ancient history books. It's the oldest known fossil of the species in northeastern Africa. The species was a bulldog-faced, small-toothed, tiny-armed theropod, estimated to have been around 20 feet in length. Just imagine it, with a big skull that resembles a bulldog and teeth sharp as knife blades perfect for gripping prey and tearing off flesh. This dino was built for some serious hunting. The mysteries of our ancient earth never cease to amaze. 2200 year old shipwreck. Archaeologists have unveiled the remains of a 2200 year old shipwreck in ancient Egypt that met a tragic end. Struck by giant blocks from the famous temple of Amun. This is a shipwreck with a dramatic backstory. The ancient vessel referred to as a galley was found alongside a burial ground beneath the waves in Thonis Heracleion, a city that once thrived but ultimately succumbed to the sea. The galley, a speedy one at that, stretches a whopping 82 feet and boasts a flat keel, a common feature among vessels that once cruised the Nile River. But the treasures don't stop there. Among the finds on board were pottery and a gold amulet featuring Bez, the Egyptian god of childbirth and fertility. Legend has it that ancient Egyptians believed in using this god's image to protect both young children and women during childbirth. That's some serious ancient wisdom. Lead researcher Frank Gaudio dubbed these ancient discoveries on the ship as extremely rare. And you know what? He's not wrong. Avenue of Sphinx the Avenue of Sphinxes is a remarkable archaeological gem nestled in Luxor, Egypt. It's a majestic pathway lined with an awe-inspiring Sphinx statues that once linked the temples of Luxor and Karnak. Pretty incredible, right? This avenue dates back to the New Kingdom period roughly around the 14th century BCE, during the reign of Amenhotep III. Later on, pharaohs extended and embellished this grand route. This was no ordinary walkway, it was a procession route with sphinxes standing tall on both sides. These creatures sported the body of a lion and the head of a pharaoh, embodying the strength and authority of Egyptian rulers. Back in the day, this avenue boasted hundreds of these impressive sphinxes. As the centuries rolled on, time took its toll on the avenue of sphinxes, 
with it starting to show signs of wear and tear. Many of these statues fell victim to damage or destruction. However, in recent times, there have been efforts to revive and excavate the historic site. It's now an archaeological attraction, allowing visitors to stroll along this path and bask in the grandeur of ancient Egypt. Now that's what we call a day out. King Tut's Daughters Egyptologists have just unveiled an astonishing secret back in 1922 in the Valley of the Kings. They stumbled upon King Tutankhamun's tomb, a treasure trove of over 5,000 objects believed to assist him in his journey to the afterlife. And here's the jaw dropper. Among these riches tucked away in Tutankhamun's final resting place were the mummified bodies of two baby girls, perfectly preserved. These precious remains now rest in the Grand Egyptian Museum in Giza, bearing witness to a bygone era. But here's where it gets even more mind-blowing. Through DNA analysis, researchers were stunned to discover that these tiny mummies were most likely Tutankhamun's daughters. Yep, this discovery is rewriting the history books. This find is nothing short of extraordinary. The chance to glimpse into the family of one of ancient Egypt's most legendary figures is a once-in-a-lifetime revelation. These little mummies are a treasure in their own right, offering a rare and intimate collection of the past. Ancient Egypt never ceases to amaze. Statue of Kapur This ancient Egyptian masterpiece is a true marvel of craftsmanship, hailing from the 4th dynasty of the Old Kingdom, around 2500 BCE. In fact, it's considered a gem in the crown of Egyptian art. The statue immortalizes Kapur, a prominent figure of his time and a high-ranking official during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu. What truly sets the statue apart is the incredible attention to detail, especially in capturing Kapur's facial features. The sculptor poured immense care into rendering his individuality and personality. Today, this masterpiece finds its home in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, where it continues to stand as a significant artifact cherished for both its artistic excellence and historical importance. This statue is like a glimpse into the past. The Tomb of Osiris An eerie, blackened tomb believed to belong to none other than Osiris, the OG Egyptian god of gods, has just been unveiled. This symbolic burial site, aptly named the Tomb of Min, is like a portal to the past. Think of it as Osiris' VIP lounge, where the afterlife's top dog could kick it with the pharaohs. It's sending shockwaves through history buffs and archaeology enthusiasts. The Tomb of Min is a true masterpiece, featuring everything from secret shafts to a grand hallway, a burial chamber fit for a deity, mesmerizing carvings, and drumroll please, a legit statue of Osiris. This green-skinned, bearded man rocks a pointy crown with ostrich feathers and holds a crook. It's a fashion statement for sure. Now, it was said that pharaohs and wealthy Egyptians could score a ticket to the Osiris Afterlife Express if they coughed up for assimilation rituals. This golden ticket promised them a one-way trip to eternal life, partying it up with the god of gods himself. If you paid the price, of course. Now that's what we call divine connections. Unknown Queen Egyptian archaeologists have just dropped a bombshell that's rewriting the history books. They've come across a pyramid that experts are convinced was built in honor of an ancient queen who's making her grand debut in the historical spotlight. Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, the nation's antiquities expert, revealed her name, Neith. And get this, she was a complete unknown in the history books until now. Hawass put it best. It's amazing to literally rewrite what we know of history, adding a new queen to our records. Alongside this royal resting place, they've stumbled upon a treasure trove of 300 coffins and 100 mummies. Talk about a jackpot. It's crazy to think of all the history out there that we haven't even discovered yet. Who knows how many more kings and queens are buried in the sands of time. 3200 year old cheese. We've got a cheesy tale that'll make you rethink everything you know about ancient history. In the tomb of Tommies, an Egyptian bigwig, a team of archaeologists stumbled upon something that's pure dairy gold. Amidst broken jars, they found a peculiar solidified whitish mass. We're talking about cheese that's been aging for a staggering 3200 years. Move over, pyramids. The real masterpieces here is ancient Egyptian cheese making. These folks were true dairy enthusiasts. But what about the taste, you ask? According to the experts, it was really, really acidy. 
forget lemons. If you wanted tangy, all you need was a bite of this ancient cheese. It's like the original sour candy. Now, we don't know about you, but we're not sure we'd want to take a bite of this moldy old cheese, even if it wasn't the name of science. This discovery doesn't just unveil the cheesy secrets of the past. It shows us that even the simplest artifacts can teach us a thing or two about history. Dendera light bulb. Nestled within the ancient temple of Hathor in Dendera, Egypt, this artifact is the stuff of legend. Just look at it. It's like an ancient version of our trusty light bulbs, complete with cords and filament-like lines. Can you believe it? Were the ancient Egyptian secret lightning wizards? Well, some conspiracy theorists certainly seem to think so. Let's explore the theories. Some experts think this bulb points to the ancient Egyptians dabbling in electricity. They reckon these folks might have been keeping things lit with some lost-to-history high-tech lighting. But skeptics have something to say about that. They argue it's all symbolic, maybe representing spiritual enlightenment or the rising sun. Ancient civilizations were big on symbolism, so that's not too far-fetched. As the debate rages on, one thing's for sure. The Dendera light bulb is a puzzle wrapped in a mystery. Will we ever get to the bottom of it? Only time will tell. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. The Great Pyramid Electromagnetic Energy Egyptian pyramids have always been shrouded in mystery, but researchers are finally peeling back the layers of legend and myth to get some real scientifically backed info on these marvels. Get ready for some crazy information that changes everything. Physicists recently rolled up their sleeves and delved into how the Great Pyramid would interact with specific electromagnetic waves. Yep, the results are mind-blowing. Turns out in a resonant state, this iconic pyramid becomes an energy powerhouse. It's like a cosmic battery concentrating electromagnetic energy. It's one gigantic triangle of energy. Now, it's not just the internal chamber soaking up the energy, but also under the base, where the mysterious third unfinished chamber lies. A global team of brainiacs came together to crack this code, examining the unique shape of the Great Pyramid of Giza and its ability to focus electromagnetic energy. Of course, there are lots of scientists who say this is all a load of old rubbish, but more time and research is bound to unveil the truth. Who knows what other secrets these ancient structures are hiding? Hidden Corridor The Great Pyramids of Egypt, those ancient wonders that have baffled humanity for eons, just unveiled another jaw-dropping secret. Are you ready for this? Archaeologists armed with cutting-edge sub-atomic technology have stumbled upon a hidden chamber inside the Great Pyramid. This is no ordinary find, mind you. It's the first time since the 1800s that such a discovery has been made. Talk about a game changer. This pyramid, a colossal 479 feet in height, was erected for Pharaoh Khufu over 4,500 years ago. It was built using a whopping 2.3 million limestone blocks, all without a hint of machinery. That's some serious ancient engineering prowess. But hold on, because scientists are on the fence about delving into this newfound chamber. Why, you ask? Well, they've concerned that any intrusion might lead to an unfortunate collapse inside the Great Pyramid. Or maybe, just maybe, there's something more eerie at play here. Something they'd rather leave undisturbed. So, here we are, face to face with an ancient enigma that might just keep us guessing for generations to come. Who knows what secrets lie within this hidden space?